and be back for a uh, second time in three years? Well, it means a lot. I mean, um, coming back to where we had our first bowl game, my first bowl game, the first bowl game where uh, our team uh, was able to make the postseason the first time in like 10 years. Um, you know, it's great to be back in New York because not only, you know, it's where we're from, but this is where, you know, a lot of our fans are and, you know, a lot of our fans will be able to get to this game and, um, you know, it's just good. Or, it's, uh, it's great bowl all around for our program. How about facing West Virginia again? I mean, I'm sure at the end of last season, you guys figured you wouldn't see him again for a while. Yeah, I mean, that's 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 what I had thought, but uh, you know, it gets so happens it's worked out differently. But um, you know, it, it's I mean, West Virginia's a great team, and, um, and we have a great history with them. Um, and going out and playing them one more time, uh, a team that I faced throughout my whole career, uh, you know, it, it couldn't really be better for me. It's for my last game. Brian, uh, Gio Smith was just talking about how they kind of knew going into this and they were looking forward to facing the possibility of playing Syracuse and then it happened. He said he kind of had some unfinished business. Did you feel the same way? Did you anticipate playing West Virginia? So, what do you think about that possible pressure? Well, um, I wasn't sure uh, who we were going to play. I heard we were going to play maybe a couple teams from Texas or something like that, but um, I didn't really know. I didn't really know who we were going to play until the team came out. But uh, you know, I can see that they have some unfinished business. Uh, we we played a good game against them last year, and then we came out with a couple wins last two times we played them. So, I mean, I would be the same way if I was in their situation. So, um, you know, we know that they're going to be ready to go, and we just have to make sure that uh, you know we're just as ready, if not more, just like any other week. Um, it's one thing that you know we're trying to preach to these guys is that uh, you know we're out here doing all these bowl events and stuff, but at the end of the day we're out here to play a football game. We're out here to win a football game, so uh, we got to do what we've been doing all year. Uh, more, in, in, more in particular, what we did like more in the second half of the year, just play our game, and uh, we don't really, we never, we never really sweat with uh, what the def what the other team did. You know, we just play our game and do what we do. What have you seen out of West Virginia's defense? Obviously giving up a lot of passing yards this year. And do you feel like that's something you guys can exploit? Well, um, yeah, they definitely had some, uh, you know, they had some, um, you know, they've had put up, all the teams have put up some yards, but, you know, to their defense, you know, they played some really good teams, some really good passing defense or offenses. And, um, you know, they played against a lot of great players. But, you know, one thing that, uh, you know, keeps us on our toes is that, they had an extra couple weeks to prepare for us. You know, they they, they could they could uh, change up whatever they're doing that um, uh, they, what they were doing through the year because you know they had time to prepare. So we just have to make sure that we're ready. And you know, just because you know what they've done or throughout the year or what they haven't done, um, you know, it doesn't mean we can't be ready for it. Yankee Stadium, you, you played here before. What is it like as opposed to any other outdoor team? Is there any nuance to Yankee Stadium that isn't, say, West Virginia? Well, oh, yeah. Um, I mean, looking at some of these uh, bowl games that have been played already, I mean, the ambiance of New York uh, Yankee Stadium compared to these other places is second to none because, like, um, you know, you're in, like, the 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 hub of you know, the biggest city in New York or the the most popular city in the world or in the nation. So um, playing here at playing New York Yan at New York's Yankee Stadium, where uh, you know all eyes are on you, because like I said, New York is the is the central hub of you know the media uh, of New York. So um, being able to play here in front of um, family friends, because you know like I said earlier, you know we're from New York, so we'll hopefully we'll get a good turnout. Um, just makes it that much special. And uh, playing here again, which we had a you know, special time two years ago. Hopefully, you know, we'll be able to do the same thing. Oh, the wind. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, no, you're good. Um, well, yeah, so I'm used to playing in the dome. And, uh, you know, fortunately, uh, you could say I'm used to this weather because I'm from Syracuse. But a lot of time we don't play in this weather. But, um, but we have the... It was, if we were going to be playing outside, we practice outside, so we'll be prepared for it. And, uh, you know, God willing, the, the weather won't be too bad, so we, you know, I can sling it around a little bit and not have to hand the ball off uh, a lot more. But, uh, you know, that's just, you got to, when, when it's windy, when the elements are bad, you just got to make more careful reads. You got to be smart with your decisions, and, uh, you know, it's something we're definitely preparing for. How important is it to not let the long break kind of break up the momentum down the stretch? Uh, it's big. I mean, right now, uh, it, you know, it's game week. You know, it's it's Wednesday of game week. It's so this is the time where you know you gotta get back in your routine of um, 
what you were doing throughout the season. I mean, it's, you know, we're not going to class or anything. You know, we're doing stuff like this, but you got to prepare in your head, in your mind that, um, you know, you're playing in three days, so you got to be ready to go and uh, not forget, you know, this is another football game, you know, championship trophies on the line. And, um, you know, you got to be ready to go. It's not just a vacation. Well, I mean, every week we got, you know, we got a couple new wrinkles, uh, you know, that we like to keep in our back pocket just in case if the opportunity presents itself. And, uh, you know, the one thing about those plays is that the, the way they work is, you know, you, you get the look you want. You get, you know, you get, you're fairly confident with what the defense is doing. So uh, when you do want to call it, you know, you'll get the look that you want. So, you know, because a lot of times if those trick plays go against looks you don't like, you know, bad things could happen. So that's what that's something we're definitely trying to stay away from. But to answer your question, yeah, we probably have a few wrinkles here and there.